much. A new frontier. Milwaukee's hometown airline is history. Yeah, the signature seats have long since gone, but uh, so now has the Midwest name. Our Tom Murray is live at Mitchell International Airport with the details. Tom. Vince, Susan, good morning. And there is a little confusion at the airport this morning as we have two different airlines. And there are people that are lining up at the Frontier counter who are supposed to be in Midwest. People only going to Denver are supposed to be at the Frontier counter. Everyone else is supposed to line up over here uh, at the Midwest counter. The transition not happening overnight. In fact, we're told it's going to take about 12 to 18 months. This company surveyed about 10,000 travelers and found that Frontier had a loyal customer base about four times the size of Midwest, so Frontier won out. Midwest's fleet will get a new paint job. The airline promises each plane's tail will be painted with an animal, just like you already see on Frontier aircraft. There are individual pay-per-view TVs at every seat on Frontier planes, but there's no promise yet to offer that service on current Midwest planes. Frequent flyer plans and reservation systems will merge. You will be able to book on Midwest's website through this fall. The plan is to add more flights and jobs in Milwaukee. We talked to customers about this change. Do you think that this will work? Sure, sure. Yeah, it, you know, you're going to lose the logo that was... Uh, is so homey to Milwaukee. We like the comfortable seats and the planes and the friendliness of the staff, so as long as everybody's attitude doesn't change. They got the special cookies. That's kind of a treat. Frontier says they're going to keep those. That'd be great. Yes, Frontier vowing to keep the cookies. Now, the bottom line for so many travelers is ice, and what we're told is as long as when people log on to Travelocity or Expedia and they're able to see that Frontier is right there in competitive pricing that uh, they will continue to choose this company. Live this morning at Mitchell International, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4 HD. All right, Tom, thanks very much. 603 on TMJ4, the Midwest Airlines Center downtown will be renamed the Frontier Airlines Center. Still a couple of years left on the naming rights contract. Company has to pay itself for the signs to be changed to Frontier. And Midwest has changed a lot over the years. It started back in 1984. It was Midwest Express then. Remember this, passengers got the royal treatment, the wide leather seats, mm -hmm. just two across. Full meals served on china, champagne. It set Midwest apart. To me, it was like flying first class all the way, even though you weren't paying first class rates. It was like taking your living room into the air. Well, that certainly changed in recent years. The seats gone, china gone, champagne out, and all went away. But the cookies live on. Frontier is known for having animals on the tails of its planes, and now there will be a new spokes animal in the TV commercials. Well, it's great to be here in Milwaukee. Yeah. And we're thrilled to welcome the newest member of our gang, this guy, the Badger. Right. Hey, uh, you know those guys eat rabbits, right? <laughs> With any luck. Nice. Anyway, the Badger, of course, is Wisconsin of state animal. The Frontier Badger does not have a name yet, and in fact, the company says it will ask people to submit suggestions and details coming in the in the next couple